First Tanzanian President Samia Sulu Hassan is expected in the country for what will be her first state visit to Kenya in her new capacity as head of state. President Sulu is expected to hold bilateral talks with her host, meet Tanzanian business persons in Kenya, and make an address to parliament. Leila Mohamed looks back at the historical ties, both economic and social, that have not always been cordial. Just as diplomacy experts had predicted, President Samia Suluhu Hassan has begun a tour around the East Africa region to build on old alliances and forge new ones. The first choice of Uganda was, uh, it was, uh, it was of necessity because there was this pipeline deal that, was, uh, that needed to be signed. Um, you know, there were a lot of issues that uh, had beset this, uh, this pipeline deal, the EECOP. The Standard Gauge Railway uh, from Mombasa uh, to Nairobi. It cost us more than Ethiopians were able to build in a longer term. Uganda, Uganda was looking at that fact, and Tanzania looking for opportunity, you know, in order to benefit the best national interest of Tanzania. Her itinerary for her first state visit to the country is packed. Katika ziala hiyo, tunamategemeo kwamba mwenyeji wake, watakuwa na mazungumzo na mwenyeji wake, laisi, Mwishimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta na tunategemea atampokea na kuwa na mazungumzo katika ikuru ya Kenya. With her focus shifting to Kenya, many are holding the view that the first order of business should be unwinding entangled ties that have brought tensions between the two states in the recent past. It's not something new. Uh, this began with the first East African community where these two countries were at loggerheads and which led actually eventually to the breakup of the first East African community in 1977. The relations between Tanzania and Kenya are since then immemorial. Again, we can trace it even back further with the, the, the relationship between uh, the first, Kenya's first president, uh, Jomo Kenyatta, with Tanzania's first president, uh, uh, Julius Nyerere. Kenya enjoys a rich history with her southern neighbor, with both their people living and doing business across the border. The people negotiating on behalf of us must have facts, historical facts, historical trend, where we are going in the future. Diplomacy experts say that the excitement in the air over the Sulu visit brings with it much expectation. For many residents of both countries, we expect to engage socially and economically with little restrictions. Tuna mategemo makubwa itaboresha zaidi mausiano kati ya nchi zetu mbili. Mausiano ya kibiashara, mausiano ya kijamii. While Kenya and Tanzania engage in business and the informal sector, Tanzanian experts believe that Kenya has a lot to learn from its neighbor, especially in the entertainment business. Music and the entertainment business in Tanzania is quite vast and big. The lessons that Kenya can draw is that um, to imbue a culture, uh, a culture of uh, identifying with the local, uh, local traditions mm -hmm. in terms of language, in terms of cultural, um, indigenous cultural practices. While Tanzania has made major strides in some aspects of life, it has been criticized in what many term as efforts to curtail the rights of citizens who are critical to the leadership. I'm relieved uh, with, uh, with uh, President Hassan and I feel much more confident. However, I'm also um, not somebody who is easily fooled. The Tanzanian delegation is expected to be in the country for two days. Leila Mohamed, NTV.